Hey guys, how's it going? So I have been tracking my um, hardcover copy of Mooncaller's Shadows Burn by Lita Muir, um, which is like a book by the YouTuber Lita. Hi Lita Bear. For those of you who may not know, um, Lita has released um, this book, Mooncaller's Stars Wake. I believe like maybe just not quite a year ago. I did do a video kind of about this and like my first impressions on it and everything like that. I actually never got around to finishing reviewing that because I was like, oh, once I finish reading it, I will make a another video about it. But the issue and why I really never got around to doing that was because I didn't quite finish reading it. So what happened? Um, First of all, I'm not that big of a reader. The only books I typically ever tend to read is like World of Warcraft books because I just am otherwise not interested in reading. I do of course love fantasy things. I read Narnia growing up, um, the Warriors cat book <laughs> series thing, um, and like a few just things in that realm. I tried to read Lord of the Rings but it was just kind of too much for me. I don't know why, I just like kind of read a few chapters and stopped. Of course with this being a fantasy book kind of inspired by World of Warcraft and Tolkien stuff and all that sort. Um, and with it being written by Alita was just like definitely a no-brainer that I was going to read it. But um, what ended up happening, I got about just over halfway into the book and then I just got busy with work and doing stuff, you know, you got busy and then I got the new World of Warcraft book that came out before the storm which was about like Sylvanas and Anduin and like everything leading up to Battle for Azeroth. So I read that, finished that and then basically Battle for Azeroth came out so I've just been so busy and so sidetracked that I hadn't gotten around to finishing reading this. With the release of her new book and when I ordered that I started to kind of finish off like from where I left off. So um, currently I'm on chapter 20 which is page 229 and the book is like 340, 48 pages or so so I still have a little bit to go and my Shadows Burden book is coming today in the mail so Obviously I did not time manage this very well to finish reading it and of course I will finish reading this before I start reading Shadows Burn so I have to definitely hopefully finish this pilot today or maybe tomorrow hopefully. That is where I'm at right now but I did just want to make kind of an intro thing because I'm just so excited to get my Shadows Burn copy of the book because I ordered a hardcover and this one's soft so I'm just excited to see like and kind of nicer, like more aesthetically, like, oh my god, this is amazing. Um, and definitely if this comes out in hardcover, I'm going to get it. Um, I freaking adore the artwork on the cover. I think it's really awesome, and with it being like a cathedral, stained glass window kind of theme, I can't wait for all the books to be out and to just like line them up like in like a hexagon circle <laughs> kind of thing. That'll be so cool. Super duper stoked about it and I actually am enjoying this so much. Um, I read like three chapters last night before I went to bed which was like chapter 17, 18, 19 and now I'm on 20 and those three chapters were so good. I freaking enjoyed it so much. I feel like it's when things really started to pick up in the story and there was kind of like battle scenes and whatnot like that and some pretty intense stuff happening and there was some talk about like the divines and like the gods and stuff and it was just like really, I was like oh my god this is super cool. So yeah, um, anyways, uh, I should be hopefully, I've been tracking my package like non-stop and it should be coming like literally any minute. I, this is typically when my mail person comes around, it's at this time of day. So I'm super excited to go either run to the mailbox and grab it or maybe they'll drop it off at my door. I don't know but I'm super pumped. And I just wanted to do like an unboxing kind of thing and just kind of showing what it looks like and stuff like that. So um, I guess at this point I will just keep tracking it and once it is available for me to go get I will be back and I'll show you guys what it looks like and all that stuff. Okay so I am back from checking the mail and also eating taquitos because I'm freaking so hungry. But when I went to the mailbox they like put the package into our tiny little mailbox hole and like it was literally so stuck, like they like shoved it in there so good, like I was like trying to pull it out for like a good two minutes and like if anyone was looking at me like from their house or if anyone walked by and I didn't notice they were probably like what the fuck is that girl doing because I was just like pulling on it and like re-angling it and trying to like pull it out. And I was like why would you do that? Like I was so expecting them to leave a little key and be like hey like open the bin A box A or box B and like get your package but I guess maybe they were full or something I don't know but they should not have shoved it in there because it was like way bigger than that to fit in there. The package that it came in um, 
So it is from this website called Lulu. And um, I've never ordered off them before, but I guess that's how she is selling all of her hardcover copies. And it did take a little bit longer. It took like five business days for them to print it and then like another couple of business days to actually get it to me because I ordered it on the 27th and today is the 10th I believe of January. A little bit longer but I think that it is so worth it to wait and get the hardcover copy. So I'm just going to back up just a touch so you guys can hopefully see this a little bit better. I'm so excited. I'm literally like dying. Um, I probably should have got scissors but I never ever think to do that so that's okay. Okay, first piece of tape off. I'm literally like dying. Also, I hope that my hands aren't like greasy from eating food. Oh my god. Okay, so I, I literally don't even want to pull it out. I'm so nervous and so scared. It's hardcover. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. This is beautiful. Oh my god. I feel like this is the nicest hardcover copy of a book I've ever had. Holy shit. And it's all like nicely packaged and stuff. Oh my god. I love this color scheme. This is so pretty. I feel like this like matches my hair right now. This is amazing. Um, so, <laughs> oh my god. Those two together. I guess I should put this one on this side. Oh my god. Those look so good together. Literally though, just picture it with like four more books so it sits all together and just like angled like that and like lined up like all around each other. That looks so sick. I can't wait. She like mentioned on her live stream on Instagram that she might make like a poster with just like all of them, like a really long poster across without all the title font and stuff, just the images themselves. And that will be so sick. Um, I think that there was a piece of paper in here. I guess it's just some order info. Yep, nothing exciting. Oh my god. I'm literally like I'm so happy right now. I just want to open this, but again, I don't have freaking anything, so we're just gonna hope that we can get in here. So we're just gonna open this. Um, I'm really, oh my god, holy crap, this is beautiful. This looks even better with the plastic off. Oh my god. I'm sorry, I'm like fangirling right now. This is why sometimes I can't do. This is like the literally the best hardcover book I've ever seen in my life. It's so like crisp. And so nice. I can't explain it. And I'm also scared to like, it's like doing that. Like it's very like, um, never been opened before and all that stuff. But oh my God. Holy cow. Moon colors. I love it. I cannot wait to um, finish reading this book. Like I said, I just have a few chapters left and then I can move on to this one. And I'm just so freaking excited for that. Oh my God. For all those who love this world like I do, you know who you are. Oh my God. That is me. I'm just going to go ahead and read the My Words to You spot because that's not any book spoilers or anything. It's just the nice messages from Lita. So, My Words to You. There's a world in every head and every heart. We visit them in dreams and memories and in nightmares. Because of that world, all of us at some period in our, all of our lives experience a feeling. I want to go home. Oh my god. This is like Azeroth for me. Like Even though it's not like my own creative world, that's how I feel about Azeroth. That is from whence Amnivan came, a yearning for escape that grew so real that it now exists for at least one person. This is a plane in which souls from any walk of life are welcome. On this journey you may meet friends, lovers, guardians, and enemies. Believe it if you will, every inhabitant of Amnivan is alive as you or I. They live within me, and my greatest wish is for them to live within you too. That being said, do not expect this land to be any kinder than the one in which you currently live in. I will not promise you a safe haven, for only you can provide that for yourself. Amongst these pages, you might discover hope, humor, joy, insight, strength, and perhaps even love. You might also discover poverty, inequality, hierarchy, war, hatred, judgment, and all else that is universally feared. Just like the world of humankind, this world suffers. Its people suffer, and while reading, you may suffer too. But without pain, the story would never have come to be. Oh my god, I'm pretty sure that's the like, exact same words to you thing in the first book as well, which makes sense. Uh, yeah, so that is really, really cool. I just wanted to read that on camera because I think it's super, like, sweetly <laughs> worded. Like, it's very, I don't know, personal kind of feeling, and it just makes me feel so, so very nice. Oh my god, I am so excited 
to read this. So also inside of here we have some maps that were hand drawn by Lita as well. They're freaking gorgeous. And then of course we have our little table of contents and all that stuff. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm so glad I ordered the hardcover copy. So nice. If she like offers one to be signed, I will totally like rebuy this and just have two copies of this. I don't care. Feeling so blessed to have this hardcover copy. I think everyone should buy it. It's just aesthetically pleasing. It's so beautiful. Like I what what is this? How is this real? I don't know. I literally would get this as a tattoo or something. That's so freaking beautiful. So yeah, anyways, um, thank you guys so much for checking out my channel. Uh, please check out the Mooncaller series. Um, so far there's just the two books, but the third one will be coming out probably within the next couple-ish months, maybe like six or so plus months. I'm not really sure, but she has been putting them out super duper quick. I find them super enjoyable to read. Any support to Lita would be just fantastic. I love and adore her, so if you want to support her too, that would make me happy as well as I'm sure it would make her super happy. Thank you guys so much for stopping by my channel. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will talk to you later. Bye guys!